This is Michael Donahue at the opening reception for A Dog's Life at Memphis College of Art. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. I don't want a parrot the all. I, I was interested in the history of how dogs are included in paintings, but I wanted to update that and see how contemporary artists are dealing with that subject. It's a really pre um, prevalent image in the history of painting. And, and what they do that is so strikingly different is that they reveal their intimacy with dogs. And of course, because dogs spend so much time in your studio with you while you're working, that there's a, I think there's a degree of um, camaraderie that perhaps isn't necessarily evident in the history of, of dogs and art. I figure there's another side to the, uh, to the dog world than that one that you always hear about, oh, what a sweet dog and a great dog. And I've seen some mean dogs in my life. And people say, oh, dogs aren't that way, but they are sometimes. He's a human uh, form in a lot of the uh, um, plant form, and it's very figurative. But uh, I could I could sculpt a dog one day. It may, it'd probably be a German Shepherd if I would, I would, I would do a dog. Why? Uh, I, just, I just love them. They're very intelligent, and I love the uh, the, the, the stature, like the, the kind of mechanical aspect of the body. My work's very industrial. It could be maybe some, like, you know, German Shepherd hybrid with maybe some artillery and small arms attached to his body somewhere. Are dogs good art subjects? They're good to eat. <laughs> oh, oh, they four-legged ones. I thought they were hot dogs. <laughs> what did you think of the exhibit in there? I loved it. Did you take the dog in? No, I should have, I guess. He wanted to go. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that doggies, I do hope that doggies, I do hope that doggies for sale.